What's going on? It's Prox. We're playing Satisfactory again today. Well, last time I kinda sorta finished building this giant mega mushroom looking factory. And no, it doesn't make mushrooms, but it does produce a bunch of iron, copper, and a good many other things. And now it's time to use those precious ores and minerals to our satisfactory. The game is kind enough to tell us exactly what it wants, and in this case, we need modular engines and adaptive control units, which looks weirdly similar to the thing you shake violently in your hand to build forearm strength. Yes, I'm talking about these things. Gyro balls, gyro balls. But I can't just go ahead and simply build everything, so to make things a little more interesting, I improvised a couple of rules. First, I'm not allowed to build anything that makes a lot of excess items. Second, one factory floor can only make one component. And third, the whole factory must fit in one of these squares. And all of this sounds like a perfect recipe for disaster, but I'll do it anyway. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, now before I start actually cooking the new stuff up, I need to sort out all of the ingredients. So let's just plop down some tips to these floor holes. All of them should be nice and tight and neatly next to each other, you know, to have a little bit of density going on. Because what looks cooler than a dense area of belts with a lot of different materials on it? Not too bad. I'm a little worried how things are gonna look at the edge here, but you know what? It's good enough still. I have a sense that this is gonna be a recurring theme in this episode. So now we can see all of the ingredients that we're gonna need. It's time to put them in a more comfortable resting spot. How does this look? It looks decent enough. Is that symmetrical? <laughs> Hell no, that's not symmetrical. <laughs> but now since I reached the midpoint, it's gonna be weird if I try to kind of finagle and mess my way into the belts in the middle. And uh, I should probably go ahead and start on the edge to kind of give it the same boxy, framey look. I think. I'm not sure, but you know, have to think a little bit, at least, when playing a factory game. With manufacturing and stuff. I zoned out hard while building this. And not only there is all the resources flowing into the right containers, there is also this. And this is going to handle all the overflow of the raw materials. It basically just pushes the resources into the awesomer things that I made. By the way, this blueprint and many others are available completely for free on my Discord. So not only we're gonna make a bunch of cool stuff with these materials, but we'll also get some coupons out of it. How is this looking? Pretty sweet! And with this, all the belt work necessary for the first factory is done. Well, I still need to connect a bunch of loose ends in here, but it's nothing. It, it, it's done. It's done. So what I'm thinking is perhaps just very simple supports right up on all four corners, just like this, and then a big fat floor on top of it. I know this looks a little weird, like a really disproportionate coffee table or something, but I will add some supports later on. So the spaghetti floor is done. Now the power floor, which I suppose can be a little smaller because there isn't gonna be any big machines in here. So two layers or eight meters should be more than good enough. Let's take a step back and take a look. I mean, at this point it's just a frame, but once all the decorations come in, it's probably gonna look okay. Now one thing to decide is where all the power is gonna come in. And what I'm thinking is I'm not really sure how many floors there's gonna be, so I'll just add a bunch. It's really a huge overkill right now, but once it's done, it's just basically gonna span up like this. So each floor is gonna have its separate power line so I can control it not only from the power management floor, but remotely as well. Now, instead of showing you the entire building process, I just wanted to show you a couple of highlights and a couple of things that I ended up changing. So the very first thing that I noticed was that the shape of the building, especially the square corners, were absolutely and completely out of the aesthetic. So I came with the solution that was diagonal edges. At first it was fine and it looked really good, but it came back to bite me in the butt really quickly. When I realized that I can't properly place all the conveyor holes needed to lift all the resources up. At first I was fighting the idea of having to dismantle and rebuild the corner thing, but in the end I kind of came up with a system and it worked out just fine. 
Then I spent a little bit of time trying to come up with a system on how I was going to place the actual machines for manufacturing. I also wanted to keep a little bit of room on the side so I could have some extra resource funnels to push the simple items so I could make some more complicated stuff. I also put in some effort in coming up with a system on how I was going to feed the machines and collect their outputs so I could have a matching aesthetic of inputs and outputs on every floor regardless of what kind of machines are sitting there. Then I kind of got lost a little bit in the whole decorating thing, but in the end I just decided to go with simple glass panes with maybe some archways with painted beams and of course adding some detail on the outside as well with painted beams so everything looks neat and kind of finished and also the cabling wouldn't stand out that much. Then it was time to finish everything off with building the electrical controls. For the cables I tried to go for straight lines and try not to tangle them so they would look at least half decent. I also shifted the outside cable connections from left to right so the building would appear visually balanced at least from the outside and it worked out great. Then it was just a matter of flipping the first switch on to test how everything's going and without too many hiccups everything started going smoothly and from there there was only one thing left to do. So I've been doing a little building. And by a little I mean a lot. Like really a lot of building. Unfortunately mods do not work in satisfactory experimental update 8 so no cool time lapse for you this time around, but don't worry, I'll show you around in just a bit. I could have went the more simple route and made, let's say, all the pipes I'm gonna need in the building in one floor, but one, I didn't want to break the rules, and two, there wasn't really enough room in one floor to make all the pipes that was needed. So one item per floor, and you know what, I kind of like this nice and clean factory design. It takes a little bit of vertical space, but you know what, going vertically is much easier than going horizontally and the small footprint factory is maybe the perfect thing for me, because I kind of don't like having all the mess kind of in one plane, like whatever the hell is going on down there. It looks cool, but for the most part you're not going to be able to see it from like bird's eye view like we can right now. So if we go just around the corner here, there is our storage and we already have 150 close to 200 modular engines. So this factory was kind of fun, right? It's a big building, kind of empty looking if you look up close to it, but it's looking absolutely wonderful. And I kind of tested the limits and how I want to approach things next. I'm feeling a little more confident moving on to this more complicated project. So first, let's do the belts and then start building up. And perhaps I will leave some space like a buffer space around the entire factory so i don't have to sweat so hard in building the support so the entire thing looks supported and not a, a stupid floating slab monolith so what do you think maybe it's a little crowded and it might be a little hard fitting all of the machines necessary in this small place but you know what i'm probably gonna go for it so to me this looks like a plan oh and one more thing in comparison, the first building is 17 floors counting from the ground floor. Now the one I'm about to build is going to be almost twice the size counting at 27 floors plus. Which literally blows my mind and also kind of scares me a little bit. Because I have no idea how long it's gonna take. I'm probably gonna spend like an hour or two tinkering with blueprints trying to mainstream this thing like building bigger corner pieces so I don't have to go through having to build these blocks and whatever. Uh, before I do that I just want to quickly show you that I have put sweat and elbow grease into this project. So we're currently standing on L1 which is first floor and the floor below us is ground floor or floor zero. So L2, L3 is gonna be some uh, simple stuff and then L4 stators and L5 is gonna be wires and somewhere was L6 yes automated wiring which is the first of our bigger items that are gonna go into building gyro balls and from there is basically gonna be like a cluster of very simple items that are gonna make one or a couple of more complex items then another big chunk make more complex items and then pushing all of the red ones up into the final gyro ball production. So let me fix up some blueprints and then I'll update you whenever something interesting happens. So whipped up this really cool quick blueprint 
and now the floors are just being stacked in no time. I'm not even sure which floor I'm on at this point. Let's take a look. I've only done this side so far, but to me it looks pretty damn good. I think that's gonna be the main aesthetic. There's gonna be glass on these diagonal edges with with painted beams going up and across, so it has a little bit of depth and, you know, the rest is pretty much gonna be just normal building, I guess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build all the floors that I need, which is 22 more floors or something crazy like that. And then I guess I'll just zone out and start filling in the machines and see how I feel about it. So I finished one corner and the one at the top there, this last gap is level 27, which is going to be the one that is making all the gyro balls or adaptive control units, whatever. Anyway, let, let me continue. I just thought I was going to share this quick stupid fact with you because I was really bored only finishing this side and I still have three more edges to go. Okay, all four corner pieces are finished. Not gonna lie, it really didn't take that long. Also love how cool they look all separated like this. Too bad there's not enough space for anything really on these small platforms, so I'm gonna have to connect them. Oh, would you look at that? I already reached the level of the previous factory. It's like the first tower is me and the one I'm building right now is like the guy she told me not to worry about. <laughs> Wow, look at me finishing stuff without noticing it. And on the way of falling down, I can easily double check if I missed anything. Oh no, I just now realized that the wiring... I'm gonna have 27 separate wiring lines. But you know what? No, I'm, I'm not gonna. Yes, yes, that's the solution. Skip stuff if you don't need to do stuff. Good. So first 120 wire, then 45 pipes, and then 15 stators. Oh man, I did fix the blueprints so the signs would actually light up, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it did anything. Oh, it does actually fix stuff. So apparently whenever you place a blueprint that has signs on it, it doesn't show up originally, but whenever you reload the game, it should technically work. So far I have three floors already complete and now all I gotta do is repeat this 25 more times. So once again I zoned out hard while building this entire thing and before I could notice it I actually reached the level of the previous factory. So I thought perhaps I should say something, you know, just to symbolize this moment. We still have long ways to go but you know, it's it's a pretty decent milestone at this point. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to mention it that yeah, progress is coming along and it's only been what, like six, seven hours maybe? Anyway, let me just continue on sacrificing my time to do this and I guess uh, I'll see you at the top. This is literally second or actually third to the last floor, as you can obviously see 500 meters above the ground level or whatever you call it which is almost at eye level with our space elevator launch pad and uh, do we have our first balls i mean adaptive control units not yet just a couple more seconds two balls are gonna come in from each side and smash in the middle and go straight down is that what you want to hear <laughs> so the third big project in this world is finally finished and I'm super proud. I'm also gonna be posting the save file in my discord so if you wanna mess around in this world make sure to check it out. But anyway that's gonna be all for now, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this one or a dislike if you didn't and as always this has been a prox. Thank you for your eyeballs, and I'll see you in the next one.